Hey guys, welcome back to my Crafters Companion YouTube channel. I hope you are well and uh, I hope you've had a lovely week, a lovely weekend, a lovely morning, a lovely afternoon, a lovely evening, a lovely whatever it is, wherever it is across the globe. It's lovely to have your company here. Now this one is a continuation once again of our craft boxes where it is we're going to go all the way back to craft box 20 and the layering stencils. Now, what I'll say is when it comes to the tutorials that I do with the craft boxes, as you can tell already, this is now what, third one that I've done? Is this the third one? I think so. Uh, oh, I can't remember now. I think it must be a third one. Anyway, although I'm doing them out of order, what I will do is once I've done a few, I'll start to create a playlist on my YouTube channel and we'll start to put them in an order but at the moment it's just a little bit of fun just going through them all and going oh i'm going to do that one then i'm going to do that one so this one is all about craft club 20 and it's about the layering stencils we're going to rein it back in when it comes to this card here and we're going to keep it very simple for a beginner but then as an advanced or intermediate you can then of course expand when it comes to your additional crafters companion products we will be using in additional crafters companion products that i'll show you in a moment but for those that continue to subscribe here thank you so much much for those of course it gives me the thumbs up as well after they've watched the video thank you very much and when you comment it means a lot as well and i am doing good when it comes to replying to them not always on time when you comment on the day but i do um i am getting better so thank you very much and then for those that hit that bell notification to be alerted once i popped a video up ready for you to watch thank you very much as well right that being said, let's dive straight in. And as I said before, it is number 20. Let's just put the right one in. We will get there. There we go. I've got the right one in. So, layering stencils, craft box 20. I'm going to make a minimum of 18 cards with the card blanks inside. You've got over 440 elements. Now, if I open up and let's show you what you did get inside now remember as well because i got a comment off the back of the last tutorial that i done that that's really bugging me what was that bear with me that's bugging me i done the penny sliders and iris folded and that was it Penny sliders and iris folding. I uh, got a couple of people saying, oh, Craig, where can I get them? Remember, these are our past craft boxes. The odd one of the craft boxes towards the end of the run, you may start to find, you know, on our, or on our website. Um, but certainly going back to the older ones, you're not going to find them on our website. The whole purpose of these ones and a lot of the videos that I like to do is using older products that you guys have got from Crafters Companion. I do use new and some videos that are solely new, some videos are solely old as well. So where possible, the main item that I use, if it is available, I will link it in the description of our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. So if you don't see it in the description, it means that it's not available. Certainly on our website, whether you find them on the other uh, buy-in websites then you can always have a little look but as it is this one is number 20. So we're going to be using the stencils of course now you get some lovely paper flowers here white ones we're going to use that you've got a big tub of pearls there different sizes we're going to use that we're going to use the sentiment as well now you can see I've obviously been having a play in the past You've got lots of different sized layering stencils here, I think. Oh, there. That's the one I'm going to use. The butterflies. We're going to use that. Got some watercolour card. Now, I'm going to use that, even although I'm not going to do anything water-based technique-wise. Let's use that because it fits the stencils. And let's take... Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm presuming all of these were, you know what I'm like, I like to keep things in their original packaging. I'm going to use, no, I'm not going to use any ribbon for this one. Although you do get your three reels of ribbon. Let's use our card blanks though. So we've got... 8x8, 5x7, 
six by six, five by five, four by six, and as that four, three by three. Let's use five by five. Make a nice little small diddy card. And I want, I'm not going to do any block cardstock on the back. Although you will see once I show you. This is the colours that you would have got. Or if you've still got this craft box but not opened it. Got lovely, br well, I say bright, you've got a lovely mix of rainbow colours in there. I'm not going to be using that, so let's pop these ones back in. So, once we've got them in here, we can move that out of the way and we can get started. Now, layering stencils, if I remember correctly, there's three stencils. In here so I think it's three for all of them yep so they're all numbered and lettered A B and then C so I'm going to use my water reactive a light a medium and a dark so I've already picked them out so I'm going to go in with the yellows straw bale lemon tonic and honey pot going to use the sentiment just shortly as well so I'm going to use the noir black to do the sentiment and the additional item that I'm going to use for a silhouette is going in with our wildflower now I'm thinking this is going to work it might not but we'll just run with it and we're going to be using What's that one So let's uh, actually that one would probably be fine. Right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna run with that anyway. Right. So first things first. Let's get our stencils. So let's take our piece of white card. Let's go in with our stencil. Now you've got A, B. And then C. So A is going to be the base, B is going to be the middle, and then C is going to be the top. So you're going to go light, medium, and then dark for the detail. So I'm going to pop that on into place. Now the cardstock is smaller than the actual stencil. So what I'm going to do here, these are quite easy to, what you could do, and really make it easy for yourself, each stencil line up in with a corner so you know that each time you come in going to that same corner and they're all going to align absolutely perfectly these are very very forgiving certainly when it comes to layer two and then layer three so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tape that down into here down into the base you know what i'm i'm like I don't use a repositionable spray unless it's like something for a glitter paste or that. So I'm going to go in with straw bale to start with. I'm going to go in with my blending brush. You can use your finger daubers or uh, you can use your uh, blending tools. But I'm going to use the brush just to get into the fine detail. So straw bale and then let's work our way through it. And I knew that was going to happen. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I thought I really should have done. Ideally, this is just my personal opinion. Ideally, you want your cardstock to be bigger than the stencil. No matter what, in my opinion, that's what you want. You want it bigger. So I'm going to go, still, that was a little bit of watercolour card that you get included. But let's go in with our own watercolour card. I'm not doing anything water-based, so you could use your white smooth card stock. But the stencils, they are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So let's do, let's just do for now, let's do four and three quarters by four and three quarters. This also means I can show you 
by layering up into the corner then because it's bigger so it means we can trim down afterwards so I'm going to go into that top corner there so each stencil is going to match up to that top corner and then I'm just going to tape it down to the side like so and then I've also got somewhere to hold and pin down so let's start that one again so we're just going to work our way through and with the bristles of the brushes it means then that they're going to go through all the tiny tiny little holes so work that in and I just find it so much easier having your card stock bigger than the, the stencil. And I'm just going to use the same blending brush because it's the yellow tones. And I'm starting with the light, then medium, and then going into the dark. So that will be fine. And then there is our first layer. So there's our first layer now with the backdrop. So we can move that out of the way. Then we're going to come in, can move that. Then we're going to come in with layer two or B and it's got on there, B. So once again, let's go into that same corner. Now at the moment, this bit doesn't matter. It could be anywhere, but it really helps when it comes to layering up with the third one. Picking a corner and then I'm just going to use the same. So I'm just using a stencil tape, sticks to stencil tape. You can be using our low tack tape, but you guys know what I'm like and what I use. So press that, press that. So we're going into our mid layer now which is the lemon tonic. So just being careful. That's the only thing that you need to watch when you're not using a repositionable spray is if you're twisting and turning, that it could lift the stencil. So just be careful and start to work that color in. And don't worry about the dots being seen underneath. The whole purpose of the layering stencil is to layer the design. So work and blend, work and blend. Using the excess ink that's on your stencil work through and then lift and then there we go we've got our second layer and now this is where certainly matching up to a corner is a big help because then I can layer that into that corner and that excuse me is going to layer bang over that mid layer so I'm going to take my stencil tape just around the side there. I'm going to bring in, I'm just going to rub that because I thought, I had a feeling that I'd used a finger dauber in the past with the, that was a finger dauber I used for pigment ink pad and I accidentally put them into there so just scraping some of that excess off. So this is honey pot. So this is the darkest of the yellow. And then holding down. Of course, if you're using a repositionable spray, you don't need to worry about holding down. But let's blend that through. Now, I'm purposely going to go quite heavy in colour with this one. Like so. And then our next one. So just working it round and round. 
like so. And that's layering up that third one. Now you don't have to do all three. You could use the bow, the base polka dots and then just the second one where it gives you that silhouette feel. Or you could use the second one and then this third one. Or you might want to go from the first to this third. Or you might want to use layer one from another stencil and then layer two and then three. So you've got options. You've got plenty of options. And then that I am happy with. So let's pop all of these just back out the way. And then do I want to add a tinge to the side? No, I'm going to leave it as it is. What I'm also just going to do as well is I'm just going to give my brush very, very light spritz and take some of that colour off. Most of it anyway, ready for next time. There we go. So that is now my layering done. Now, of course, I'll clean my stencils afterwards. But if I take that off, take that off, and then lift that off. ta -da! How cool is that? So, so smart. Absolutely so, so smart. So, bear with me. So, the joys of doing this unedited, that when the doorbell goes, well, there you go, you've just seen that the doorbell goes. So that's why I put you mute and I disappeared for a moment. The doorbell went. Right, so we've got our layered stencil. So that was layer one, two and three. I'm just going to clean the ink off my hands. What you can also do as well, if I take, even if I take a piece just of our white smooth card, if we go to clean it, and then keeping in mind, of course, it's a smooth card, it's not a water-based card but if we just clean our stencil we're not going to see much of this straw bale but at least well there's a teeny tiny speckle then we can go in layer two this might not work as effective because it's a yellow but let's see so there's our second one. Oh yeah. And then let's layer our third one and clean that stencil. Clean that off. Mm, so so. You've got a rustic effect, but hey. I can leave that dry, trim that, use that another time, but at least that's our stencils now. Nicely cleaned. So let's also clean my glass mat, put them out of the way, and then clean my hands as well. This is, this is what I was going to do in the first place. Because I just don't want to get yellow on my card in a moment. Right, so now that we've done that one. Let's bring in a bit of black, black and yellow. 
work a dream. So we want to trim this down. So I'm going to trim this to its original four and a quarter. It might actually come down just a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to come down to, yeah, I'm going to come down to four. Let's do four, four by four. So there's our layered stencil. So let's do just over four inch. Like so. And in actual fact, I want it. It's a little bit bigger. So instead of cutting another bit of black, I'm just going to trim a little bit off the side and the bottom. There we go. Because then if I bring in my card blank and having that fine bit of black just creates that elevation. So I'm happy with that. Let's bring in another bit of black. And then we're going to go in with, uh, I think, is it a daisy? Or a dandelion? One or the other. We're going to run that through. Now, these dies from the Wildflower Collection, the Mailbox Flower, because you get a template to create the little cone. These have got embossed detail in them. Now, obviously, with the Gemini Mini, you don't have an embossing mat. And to be honest with you, I really wouldn't... I know it's not a hassle, but I wouldn't run this die through with my embossing mat on my G2 or Gemini, just for the sake of it. So what I would then do is just take a small ball pen and then push through that emboss detail instead. So it just eliminates having to run it through with the embossing mat and you can do this with any die that's got embossing detail. It's a little cheat way of doing it. So let's push through like that. And then I know I'm not going to see it onto the black card, but we've now got our embossed black card stock. So let's move that out the way. I don't lose it and then let's go in with mm, this is very cheery so let, let's go tell you what let's go get well soon be a nice little happy cheery get well soon card so let's take get well soon and then Got a strip of white cardstock. Yep. So let's tell you what, let's stamp it first and then trim. So I'm going to want to, so I'll trim this to four inch just shortly, but I want to have my sentiment more to the right hand side. So I don't really need to worry too much about it being to the right hand side because we're going to trim it to size. I'm going to, actually let's go that way, just so you don't get my head in the way. I'm going to come down into there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And let's press that in. Let's use the black. Line press get well soon. First impression done. Nice. Move and move that out of the way. Let's put that back onto here. Let's just put that back into here as well. And because you've got all these different permutations with all these different layering stencils. From Craftbox 20. There's lots of different ways. And although I've used a light, medium, and dark yellow, it could be a light yellow, it could be 
a medium red and then it could be a dark purple if you wanted it to be. So it doesn't always have to be within the same colour family. So I'm going to trim that here. So will, I, will I get away with? Oh yeah, one inch. So it's one inch in thickness. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap. Will that be fine? Yes, it will. What did I say that was? Four inch. So let's turn that around four inch. So that's going to go across the middle here. But I want to do a black band, top and bottom. I don't want it on the left and right, just the top and the bottom. So let's bring in a bit of black card. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So let's take... Your adhesive of choice. And poke tool. And just like our main base layer, I just want to give this a very, very fine black layer. Very, very fine. So let's Trim down the side and then there we go. Yeah, happy with that. Oh, but we can also do it as well. Let's do our insert. So the card is five by five, so that's just over four by four. So let's keep that so I'm not wasting any card. Now let's take a bit of white and let's do it four by four. Get well card. It's just going to be a little note inside. You're not going to be writing a big essay. If you are, you can make your insert layer bigger and wider. That's up to yourself. So let's layer these. So we've got our layer stencil. We've got our die cut silhouette and we've got our sentiment stamped. So we will add probably just one floral head actually and a couple of petals to finish off. So let's layer these ones onto our card. What you could also do as well is do layer one of the stencil, do layer two, make sure it's thoroughly dried and the ink has dried off and it's not wet anymore. And then, it's a little bit ski with, and then your top layer, you could come along with a pigment ink pad, or you could still use your water reactive ink pad, and then sprinkle embossing powder over the top, and then heat emboss the top layer, or go through your top layer with your stay sticky glue, and then use gilding flakes. Again, I would do that when the previous layers have dried. So let's bring in a little insert into there, ready to stamp or write or add a printed layer insert when I know who I'm giving it to. Hopefully I don't have to give this to anyone too soon. Because then it means then the person is unwell, which we don't want. And you'll also probably be shocked to know there won't be any foam pads on this one. Because we're going to have our layer from the flower, the paper flower. So let's add our tape onto there. And then let's start to layer and finish off. 
Oops. Nice just having the little wee dinky card. But nice that you can also expand it into a large card by having the different size card blanks. Now just being careful here because it's a thin black layer. There we go. So let's take these off. And that off. So let's bring in our card again. And then let's press that on there. Looking nice. Of course, you could expand the layer or you can make your card blank smaller if you're not a big fan of white frames like I am. Let's go in with our Get Well Soon. That's going to go right across. The middle you can go further down further up if you want actually let's come down just a little bit from the middle frames it nicely we've got the black top and bottom it looks as though we've got the black left and right but we don't that's actually uh, a trick visually it's actually the outer square that is um the black matte and layer let's then bring in our silhouette because that's going to sit here. Now for that one, let's bring in my wet glue. So I'm just going to go in with my wet glue. And a little, just a tiny little bit more than usual because you've got your indentations from your deboss or emboss. So that we're going to come down into there and let's press I'm just going to take a drink and then let's take just one of the floral heads and then let's bring in the petals as well so let's bring in my glue gel you can use your hot glue if you want to let's add our silicon onto the back or if you're using your call out glue gel you can add that add a little paper flower and then let's come along with our pearls here. Way too much. So I'm just wanting a few different sizes. I want more kind of like I don't want the large, large. I want more of the mediocre. There we go. So I'm going to do dot, dot, and dot. And then where's my pickup? Which is here. So there is where there we go. So let's do dot and dot and dot. So we've got the three making sure they're kind of in a line which they are and then there we go from Craft Kit 20 layering stencils we've got our 5x5 five five card where I've used straw bale lemon tonic and then also come along with the honey pot layered one on top of the other with the blending brush used the silhouette from the wildflower so mailbox flowers added that on get well soon sentiment also from craft box 20 paper flower pearls so other than of course the inks and the flowers that's all from 
craft box 20 layering stencils and you've got a multitude of different layering stencils that you can be using get well soon with different options of sentiment and then of course you've got different options of color and mediums to be using you could be using your duet you could be using your pigment you could be changing with your shimmer ink pads your color blooms all of those different options that you've got there there we go hopefully if you do unfortunately i have to make a get well card for someone then that's going to make them smile with the brightness of the three tones of yellows. Remember, as I said just shortly ago, you don't have to use light yellow, light uh, light yellow, medium yellow, dark yellow. I would try and keep them in order of light, medium and dark. So first one light, next one medium, top one dark. Try and keep it within those shades, but you can absolutely mix and match colour. So it could be light yellow, medium red and dark purple if you get my drift on that one but there we go hopefully you like this tutorial within uh, a revisit to our craft box number 20 all about the layering stencils if you like that do let me know in the comments before or underneath and uh, we'll have a little read through soon right have a lovely rest of the day week or weekend whenever you're watching this tutorial and until the next time we'll see you again doodles